Welcome to 5G Hub. Today we will be talking about ultra reliable low latency communication and how can 5G support this use case. So we will talk about the definition of ultra reliable low latency communication applications and the techniques are used. So the first question, what is ultra reliable low latency communication? As per 3GBB release 15 5G new review, URLLC is a set of features that provide low latency and the ultra high reliability for mission critical applications such as industrial internet, smart grids, remote surgery, and intelligent transportation systems. So as you see in this figure, 5G offers three services that could be transformed current industries and create new industry. They are enhancing mobile broadband that need faster speeds for use cases requiring high data rates like large scale video streaming and virtual reality, ultra reliable low latency communication and this is need low latency for mission critical service and also massive machine type communication providing internet access for sensing, metering and monitoring device. So 3GBB has specified ultra-reliable low latency communication as a key feature for release 15 5G new radio in addition to enhanced mobile broadband. As their 3GBB release 14 latency with 4G LTE is in the four millisecond range, but this is introduction of ultra-reliable low latency communication in release 15, the target is one millisecond. So also provide end-to-end -end security and around 100, 100% uh, reliability. So if we are talking about ultra-reliable low latency communication applications that require ultra-low latency networks across different industries are summarized in this table. For example, industrial automation is a key application for ultra reliable low latency features. Some industrial processes have extremely tight key uh, performance indicator or TBIs for 5G communication links between sensors and controllers. Example use cases in this category include the following motion control, industrial ethernet, control to control communication process automation, electric uh, power generation, and the distribution. So to enable these applications and end-to-end -end latency lower than 0.5 millisecond and extremely high reliability with block error rate of 10 power negative nine is required. Traditionally, Industrial control systems are mostly based on wired networks because the existing wireless technology can't meet the industrial latency and reliability requirement. So replacing the current used wire with radio links can bring some benefits. First, reduced cost of manufacturing, installation and maintenance higher long-term reliability as wired connections suffer from wear and deter in motion application and also inherent deployment flexibility. If we are uh, talking about technical feature of uh, ultra reliable low latency communication, low latency capabilities are already exist in release 15 but release 16 is the first iteration in which scheduling efficiency and the network capacity are fully satisfied. So this figure from Intel illustrates a summary of improvement release 16 introduced like fast hard pre-ambition, slot crossing, grant free applying. So we will discuss one of these features now. A blank transfer for a new transmission adds a lot of latency. As if you see the left figure in this slide, the following sequence is followed. The user equipment receives new data for, uh, for transmission in the uplink, and the user equipment then waits for the pre-scheduled opportunity 
to transmit the scheduling request or SR and the UT send a scheduling request to the base station. The base station is sending a scheduling grant, SG, uh, on the SD, uh, PDCCH uh, channel and the user equipment will respond to the grant and transmit the data on the physical uplink charge channel or PUSCCH. So here, however, uh, alterable low latency communication service will use a grant free uplink resource to transmit data where the user equipment just to transmit or receiving new data it doesn't need to wait for base station to assign resources as you see in the right figure in this slide. So grant free uplink access offers direct access to channel, provide configured transmission opportunities in the uplink, avoids needs for scheduling requests and scheduling grant. So this is for uh, today. Uh, thank you for watching and see you in the next video.